Hello there everyone, I'm Hab Mocha Lavan, and thank you for joining me back here in the mod, where our debt is just blowing up, but rush to the Urals. <clears throat> With Western Russia under our total control, we now need to strike at the warlords and control the Urals. It'll be a tough battle, as the wretches not only had the time to prepare for war while we were crushing their brothers, but they also enjoyed the protection of the Urals themselves, tall and purpose and heavily fortified. These mountains will prove a difficult challenge even for our best units. The Opal Commandos devised two possible solutions to this problem. The first is to send in more fresh troops from Vatalan to storm the mountain fortresses, a costly but effective solution. The second is to establish Russian peanut battalions and force them to attack the fortifications or face execution. While much cheaper, both money and German lives wasted, this solution is also riskier as there is a higher chance of a desertion or even a revolt. And which, right now, after this one in the last video, if you want to read this, please go ahead, because we're going to go straight to war with Turkey, because I don't want to wait. Now, it's really bad to attack in the mountains, like. Oh, well, actually, those are planes. But, like, these guys, a lot of them are not that str Are they going somewhere? Hello? No? Okay, then. Um, and these guys are probably not too terrible to take out. Eh, they might be a little difficult, but we got tanks and planes, so I'm not really too worried about that, so. Uh, promise the Arabs. <clears throat> The Arabs chafe under Turkish rule as they did for centuries in the past. They resent the cosmopolitan degenerate Turks, seeing them as even worse than the European colonizers. Naturally, we can exploit this. During the Great War, the British were able to incite many of the Arabs to revolt against their oppressors, drawing upon a newfound sense of nationalism that the desert people had discovered, of course. The British and their French partners betrayed the Arabs, selling out their land to colonial magnates and Zionist interests. <coughs> the German stalwart and honest will be true friends to the Arabs, should they accept our advances and fight alongside us, at least. We'll see. No guarantees, but we'll see. Cool. And it is now 1971, of course, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. A great year. It's going to be a great year for Germany. As it always will be with the most pop one of the most popular individuals ever to be alive. Big old Daddy Herman. But some comments. Um, someone said that it's not surprising that the Russians went to war with us since we did do some bombing of a certain kind against them. So, yeah, I, I kind of figured that. You know, if someone's going to do some sort of terror bombing, like, they're, you kind of have to retaliate. Just saying, you know. I'm not sure what you guys would do, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I want my nation to retaliate, so let's see what happens. Alright, so let's, let's, let's say goodbye Turkey for now. Because we still have to go to war with the rest of Russia, actually, and take out Iberia, which, which honestly shouldn't be too bad. But let's call all of our allies and assess the damage done to ourselves. Not bad. A lot of green. Oh, that's going a lot better than I thought it would. And people stand with Turkey, no one cares. There you go, nice. Cool. Good job, guys. Ankara, yes. Alright, so they've lost so many guys already. Holy crap. Can we just capitulate them like this? That'd be really nice. That'd be actually super nice if we could do that. Um, where's the capital now? Uh, Izmir maybe? Cool. And after that one, promise the Arabs, let's do fun jihad. Well, Islam began with the Arabs. Though an alien religion and historically a threat to the European civilization, it would be a useful tool for the United Arabs who wish to overthrow the Turks. The common perception among Islamic hardliners is that the Turks are a decadent, idolatrous, and irreligious race, unworthy to rule over true believers. True. They might regard their own nation as a land of heathen devilry, but they are so distant and radical that they can never pose a threat to a superpower like the Reich. Finding radical militants wish, who wish to see the end of the Turkish state and return to tradition would serve as well. Far removed from the borders of Germany, they will never be a problem in the future. These groups are savage, bloodthirsty, and obsessively puritanical, imbuing with them a fighting spirit that compensates for their disadvantages against the Turks, with German guns and a bit of funding to establish larger forces. We'll have ourselves a tame monster unleash upon the Turks of all. Which, I don't think we really need to worry about them too much, honestly. Like, they're, they're, they're going bye-bye pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. 30 more divisions go bye-bye. Nice. Good. Cool. Go there. Um, I don't really want to use these guys to invade. Also, we do have uh, the options here. We can do we can help these guys out. Yeah, I must help them out for now. Help, I think them win would be very good for us. Because we still need to establish uh, Rex Commissar at the Baskin line, which sounds actually sounds really cool. So this is all before Iberia. So... That'd be really cool. Conquer Italy, Russia, Iberia. War cabinet like normal is bye bye. This stuff don't really care about. Improve. We can keep that one open. Crack down on partisans. That's well. I did fall rot and then oh it is right here. So, uh, partisan activity is negligible, which is really good in the GWRI. I like to cut down on more corruption later on. It's fine. Um, adapting the infantry. No, we're okay. Uh, no more nuclear power stuff for now, which is fine. Good. And now we can invade France. We can just go ahead and do it. Wait. When selected, what next? Come start. Ozatanin annexes the French Republic. Invade Algeria. Okay! We just get them! That's gonna make it so much easier to uh, invade down here.
If these guys can move fast enough, that'd be great. Um, they are at. They should be capitulating very soon. I'll be honest. They've lost way too many guys to be able to recover from this at all. So, but okay. I mean, we just get these guys. I'm totally down with that, actually. So if that's a case. We got to plan this a little quickly. Seven days is not bad. Let's do autonomy before the Arabs. The Syrian Arabs have suffered immensely under the Turkish rule. Their proud traditions inherited equally from Rome and the Arabian empires of old have been crushed under the floppish. Foppish Butil of the steppe barbarians. The Turks seek to impose their Mongol language upon this noble people, throttling the life out of the culture. We as the defenders of Europe and those foreign peoples with old ties to Europe declare that the autonomy for the Syrians will be enshrined in their war goals for Operation Gertrude. Of course they will be a satellite of the Reich, just as as that just makes sense, but they will enjoy the same freedom so generously granted to the Slovaks decades ago. Soon Arabs. Everywhere will look to the Reich as the greatest protector. Big Daddy Gorink and a team of his advisors have decided that the best way forward a reward we can give to the little Arabs is the degree of autonomy in Syria. Yeah, we'll see about that. No guarantees, my friends. No guarantees. Look at that lag. Oh, we won. Nice job, guys. Time for it to fund some jihad. You, me, and a lot of jihad. Oh, look at this. Klen, Klein Azin. Ulrich de Mazere. You sound very familiar. Huh. All right, cool. Um, how about you guys? Oh, it's all, oh my god. That, is, that That's that's broken. That's really broken. What the heck? That, that's unfair. Like That's really unfair. Because now we can just do this and kill them off like this. I was planning on naval invading them. How strong are these guys? Hold on, we got some intelligence agency. Because I want to invade them very quickly. But that's 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 really unfair. Like, we just literally just take over France. Like, bro, bro. Like, that's not cool. Like, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but still. All right. Nice Fister. Oh, Fister. No, finish Western Russia. 0%? Nice. Fall rot is done. And we still have a, we don't have a lot of days left, but a time for Arabs, we're going to go and do this in the Masters. At the center of the peninsula of the Spanish nation. Well, actually, uh, for a lot, very long time, they've been beat, they've beaten their master of Iberia and ruling all over all over the nations until the recent collapse of the Iberian Union. Though they've lost almost everything they conquered in hundreds of years, their old memories about being the master of Iberia and even a world empire has never faded in their heart. However, as the Reich has made them the next target of our conquest, even the most idealistic Spanish people must face the fact that the old, the old hope has extinguished in this cursed land. Old days are always good, but no matter how beautiful that they look, all good old days have, have gone forever. The fall of Spain has come. Cool, and we'll do this one soon. I want to give us some more time before we head on over there, so occupation for the Turks. Unlike us, the Turks are people of limited use and worth, unwelcome in both Europe and the Near East, ever since they swarmed out of Central Asia a thousand years ago. They are still a little more than barbaric invaders as such. Klein Azin will not be treated as a defeated nation, but as a military zone permanently occupied by troops. Maintaining order will be difficult there. But if they're obedient, it should put an end to any admissions of Turkish independence. We will reassert rifle or European rule in the region to rule true Roman fashion. The march of jackboots will echo through the mountain passes, and airborne patrols will ensure the forests and hills are clear of insurgents who defy our legitimate authority. Followed up with Klein Azin secure. As expected, the Turks were no match for Germanic might. With Syria engulfed in Arab uprisings, their paltry forces were unable to prevent the Wehrmacht from marching right over the border. We have conquered Klein Azin for its rightful European owners, and now can begin the pro process of restoring it to glory and prosperity. The Turkish problem will need to be addressed in time, but until then we should focus our efforts on a past find the countryside, so that people really comprehend the fact of their defeat immediately, so there will need to be extensive and appropriately harsh measures taken to secure the region for the Reich. Oh, you guys are here. Cool. We actually build it. Yeah, we gotta build these lands because we need some. We need some of that. That'll be good. Okay, so next, then we'll, then we'll just invade them. So, all right. Um, negotiate. Fully switch out. Oh, oh, oh! We have eighty nuclear reactors. Get some more, baby. Skip the next test. Uh, this is really cool. So we can fully switch to nuclear power. That's actually really cool. So we replace digital architecture. Um, with nuclear powered nation. Let's see, so we get more political power, less consumer, well, technically, which is good, less consumer goods, more synthetic oil, fuel gain per oil, which is extremely important, nuclear reactor construction speed goes down, I mean, holy crap, like, that's awesome, that's really awesome, like, this should, oh, yeah, look at that, I like this, I like this a lot, uh, since we're here, anyways, go into this, too, you really could use more resources here, like, all along here, we're gonna have to ping... Uh, Burgundy from two sides, which I think is great. So, we should be able to beat them, but we'll see. Awesome. Look at that fuel. Oh, we're getting almost 13,000 units a day. That's so good. Recon is nice. 71. Um, get some better engineers. Engineers are always great to have. Always, always, always. Alright, my friends. It's time to do the Masters. Let's see what happens. Followed up with more Turkish stuff, maybe. 
Oh, we can't do anything here. Well, we can't do this and take the people. Partisan activity will increase by a decent amount. All Russian peanut battalions. Uh, I mean, we already won, so do it ourselves. We get, let's see, slightly decrease. Well, increase 25,000 versus 12,000. Honestly, partisan activity means literally nothing, so we must do this one. So we get some more manpower, right? Spilling German blood amidst the Ural Peaks as a total waste, especially when we can achieve the same result by spilling Russian blood. As the last wars taught us, there's always too much, way too much Russian blood left to spill. There must be if they can repopulate so quickly after suffering such losses twice in two decades. In order to take the mountain force, we shall form Russian peanut battalions, combine conscripting wretches taken from prisons and slave camps. We'll have a simple choice, almost certain death at the hands of their own... You can up in the snow Urals or certain death of their own hands if they refuse. If they survive, there's always another fort to take or another minefield we can't spare for new miners for. After all, we've just been copying their own tactics. As Zukov said, if there's a minefield, the infantry will advance as if there wasn't a minefield. Smart. Also, since you guys are here anyways, are you still just hanging out? Guys, please. Like, bro. Oh, uh, I can probably close out of that one and that one and that one and that one for now. I really just want you to focus on that area. Um. Cool. There we go. Really focus on them, and of course we gotta call everybody else in, which will be great. Right. They're up to 88, 86 divisions. See what happens. Can we actually win here? Yes, we can. That's good. Yeah, no one cares if you stand with them, guys. I'm sorry. Not really. Barcelona, because if we can't get, because that's a lot of divisions in there. Let's, let's be real. That's a lot of divisions. Hey, look. And they're just overran. And nothing there. Good. So they've only lost a third of a million. They still have 52 divisions left, so we'll see what happens. Um, you guys are done? I don't believe you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, can we actually go to war with those guys too? Just keep boosting up, it's fine. No worries. No worries, man, no worries. 200 some. And. Sure, they, you can do that if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Alright, a beer is gonna fall very quickly. Very soon. Uh, I mean. It's just so much. I mean, just, we're not even looking at the screen. Like, or the, the war. Like, it's just. I've, we've so far. Like, there's not been really a challenge taking other people out. Like, maybe Russia a little bit, but like. We set ourselves up to do very, very well. And we're just, just hammering them so hard. Just. They're done. They're literally done. Nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, now it's our... Oh, it's our... Oh, God, it's our territory? That's not good. I don't like that. I do not like that. But I'm glad the AI... Or not the AI. The developer said, Establish Reichskommissar Baskenlan. Or Castilian and Galizian. Um, Catalonian. Nice. Andal uh, Andalusian. Castilian. Portugal. Ghana. Oh, wow. All right, we'll do that one. So there goes those guys, and those guys, and Catalonian. Wow, this is just... Why? Why are we doing it like this? Why are we... I guess it makes sense to have them, give them their own autonomy so they don't really revolt and rebel against us, but Jesus. Alright, let's take a look here. Who 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 owns what? Von Hirschfeld. Harold von Hirschfeld. Alfred Zerbel. I guess this is a good way of actually getting rid of a lot of people that we don't want here. Otto Hitzfeld. That's an awesome flag. Uh, well, that's okay flag. That's kind of weird. Weird. Yeah, that's weird as well. These flags, I said they're awesome. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And you guys, push, huh? But there are guidelines. Oh, there, yeah, they still are. It's good. Not bad. I'd say that's pretty good. They flip in Algeria, huh? Um, how many divisions do they have? Because we could do that pretty easily. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, never mind. All right. There you go. All right, three. We should be able to do that, right? And we can ping Italy from like a few different sides at the same time. I think what I'm going to do is do what, like what I did before, and just have them attack my like let them come into Germany so they don't get any offensive core territory. And this way, I can just like focus on just killing them. I think that's probably for the best. Oh, look at that! Nice, we took us up. Uh, you guys hold. Hang out. Hold. Actually, I want you guys to be on this border here. I need everyone here. Be on this border. Um, who else is in the sphere? Or, Italy's by itself still, huh? 
Croatia. Okay, UAE, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Our Russian Pino Battalions. They've all redeveloped the roads. Advancing towards Siberia is a difficult task for our logistical department. Russian infrastructure is already underdeveloped enough, but the situation is worsened after the bombing campaign and the fighting. Now, most railroads are fully unusable, and the majority of the roads are covered in craters. Almost all bridges cut to prevent us from advancing. And we want to ensure troops receive all the supplies they need for the coming campaign. The concerted effort is needed to bring the infrastructure back to working order. We shall pave our own way to the final victory. Good. Very good. I think we probably just close out of this for now. Um, I want to decrease public concern as well, so. Good. There is no corruption here. And anyone who says otherwise will be shot. Similarly. Intimidate the Italians, I guess. At the, at, as the hour of Italy's conquest approaches, we must be sure to engage them on multiple fronts, the better to stretch our armies then. The Italian Middle East is a turbulent region filled with groups vying for various degrees of independence or autonomy from the right Mediterranean masters. It is also, of course, filled with bursting with oil, vital for the continuation of our glorious conquest now. That we have a border with Italy's possessions, we should move a number of our divisions into the area to conduct more ex open exercises, aggressive aerial f patrols, and general displays of force. When the time comes, we move on to the Levant, the Italians will be so terrified and demoralized that our resistance will be crumbled like the ruins Inhabit. Cool. So, 200 days. So, we got time. Like, that's all we need. I mean, obviously, we still only fish Russia and Iberia. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 Influence the Arabs. Ah, so it's over here too, so. Let's intimidate the Italians, because we can. Because why not? And then the Admiral. Ah, there we go, that's nice. Though we've eliminated all states in Iberia, there's still a spot in the little peninsula that are not in our hands. During the chaotic time, the dam was seized by Admiral Ferdinando from Portugal for his own, and his ambitious dude, he decided to use it as his own political capital in international political circles. Now, the dam continues to be under control and under such an unreliable person. The, the Third Reich's Europe is always under threat. To alter such an awkward battle, the fear is ordered to advance and occupy the dam regardless of its owner's and defender's warning. As an admiral without a fatherland to sustain him, there's no way that they can survive our fires. The total unification of Iberia under the Reich is finally about to come. Victory in Iran, we did it. With our help, the monarchists have triumphed in the civil war. Our access to their oil reserves is once again secured and we can resume production and shipments. Our help uh, was deceived... was deceived was received in turning the tide, and our allies have not forgotten this. We've earned a lot of goodwill with the monarchists as a result, but more importantly, we have oil. Which is the most important thing. Go and use that, that's fine. Intimidate Italianos, and then we'll do this too. Gibraltar Dam. The Admiral. Yeah, you guys are gonna get down here immediately. I could use the other guys, but that's fine, whatever. Yeah, at least it's been dammed up. Followed up with, shatter like their dreams like glass. The glory of Spain is a long time ago, but in the south, the dreams of a Spanish Republic still burn brightly and attract many people under their banner. Though just being daydreams now, they may leak into reality one day if we don't retreat them seriously. Such dreams cannot be allowed to live, and actions must be taken quickly. Some may say that the power of a dream is the most overwhelming one in the world, but we wish to have, to have test. That can dreams can stand against the power of artillery and bombs in the end. The Spanish people must be weakened from their sweet dreams and face the brutal fact that they're nothing but a failed nation to be dominated by the Reich. Let's go in, boys. Oh, hold on. That's why. Yeah, there are prophets. They should be called in immediately. I'll be honest. There you go. Oh, God. We have to actually get Tangiers as well. Jeez Louise. Why? Actually, that's the case. I'm going to have to go to city somewhere else. Baltist states. You guys are fine. Um, I might just try to kill off Croatia really fast then. The false shimmy, I guess. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, I can just hop on over. That's cool. Nice. Did I not it yet? What the heck? Everywhere in Iberia is conquered. Literally everywhere here. Is it not? Literally every single thing here. Am I doing to get Morocco then or something? Huh. Central Africa, Marrakesh. I guess Algeria, technically, that the game is probably bugged that way, but, eh, whatever. Securing Africa. Oh, oh, there we go. We can go to war with Morocco. That's kind of nice, actually. 
Um, I want to wait. I do want to invade Algeria first. Can we actually just go? That should be good. Uh, let's just go and invade Algeria. There you go. Followed up with... I don't want to wait for that. I do want to wait for that one, so... Um, the rest of War Plan B has to be... Oh, Jesus. Um... Hmm. All right. Finish them off. With most of Russia under our control, we can now launch a final offensive against Siberian warlords. We need to be careful about the extreme weather and logistics, but once we have prepared our enemy, we crumble easily. After all, Siberia is a depopulated region without many, any meaningful industry or, or development. Their army will melt like snow in front of the Wehrmacht, and their hopes of being crushed like brittle glass by the hammer of the Reich. But pressure the Iranians. The Reich has enjoyed historically good relations with Iran, but a conquest of Turkey has set them on edge. Excellent. Though perhaps tenuously linked to the European areas through ancient blood ties, the people have no doubt been weakened by years of miscegenation with Turks and Arabs. We must have no illusions about their unreliability and backwards nature. So, their fear can be exploited. With the strength of the Wehrmacht on full display during Operation Gertrude, their meager military must be quivering in their collective boots. Trade delegations will be sent to renegotiate existing deals and resources rights. The Reich needs the oil, and they are in no position to refuse us. Actually, how strong is Toblin? Because I do want to go to war with him next. Oh, he's... Oh, my gosh. Screw it. You guys go go over here. There you go. You'll win that way. Oh, you're just taking the boat. Oh, that's actually really smart to do. Oh, well. Yeah, somewhat. I guess. Um, we'll see what happens. Bolster arms. Klein, Klein Azin is much larger than one would think, and the terrain has made our efforts to secure it more difficult than expected. This is no, of no great concern, but the faster we can sub subdue Turkish resistance, the faster we can be exploiting the region's natural resources. To this end, our occupation forces need a large boost in terms of shipped across the Bosphorus needed, but the nature of Klein Azin also necessitates the construction of better infrastructure. The Turks have done a poor job of modernizing their nation in the past few decades. Railways, surface roads, airports, supply ports, and garrison compounds need to be built to tighten a grip on the region and show the Turks who rules them now. Pretty much, I am getting a little worried now about this whole stuff here. Can we go, please? Wait, it's bugged. Blugged, bugged. What's stupid? Oh, is this considered part of our? That might be considered part of Iberia. I forgot about that. Let's go in with Morocco next. Okay, how many more days have we got? Because I'm a little getting a little worried. Oh, I'm Okay, that's not good. I might actually have to redo this then. Just because that's stupid. This is this is definitely bugged. So uh, securing Africa. At the southernmost tip of the Iberian Peninsula, fishermen have seen the rise and fall of great empires on the two continents, all until now the dust of history settles the Reich as seas the peninsula as well as the dam made by ourselves. Meanwhile, after the fall of the Iberian nations, the desert of Morocco still exists as an independent state and waiting for us to take them. Across the dam they must have heard our names and tales about how the Wehrmacht swept the peninsula. Therefore an ultimate or ultimatum will be given to them with an option. Surrender to the Reich or face their invincible troops. And it will be a difficult question for them to answer, will it? Yeah, you never know. Oh, we better jet fighters, that's right. We gotta go fast, fast, fast. Conquered? Why are you so bad here? Because of supply? Well, that's not that bad. If we move fast enough, we'll be okay. The Conquered. After such a long and complicated campaign, the Battle of Iberia is finally ended with a total conquest or victory for the Reich. Spain, Catalonia, Basque, Portugal, Galicia, many names have fought for this run, but in the end, they're all swept by the Wehrmacht, ke keening, er, kneeling before our boots, trembling and begging softly for our mercy. Though all these names have become nothing but a page in our history books, this work is still far from being finished. There's still a lot of unrest spreading over the peninsula, and many are just watching in the darkness, watching to destabilize a rule that has just been set up. But for this moment, let us rejoice for another glorious triumph of our greatest fatherland, Sieg Heil. Well, we're going to, oh, we, oh, oh, we're going to be peace? That's so dumb. Test the people. Spanish bid. While we're distracted elsewhere, the Italian-Iberian conflict over Algeria has been decided. Iberia, despite their dysfunction, has proven victorious and established the so-called Algerian Free State. Ruled by a clique of European settlers and the paramilitary group known as Cite Catholique, the leader, Yves Guillon Serac, might just prove a worthwhile ally. Hey, we'll see what happens. So we got to go fast. we got to go. But some stuff here first. Air doctrine, keep going with more. That'd be nice. Holy crap, this is really down flipping down south. I think we'll just invade uh, Soblin. 
his territory right now with our allies. Our guys are almost there. They're, they're so weak. Just go to war with them. We can't. Uh. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. That's nice. Is that done yet? Please. Please tell me it's done. Oh, now to cash? Yes. That's nice. Alright, so we got them done. There we go. We got it, my friends. We've got it. Rex come aside. Mata Cash. That's actually really cool. Cleasing. Gunter Cleasing. Hello, Gunter. Hello. Alright, so these guys, these guys are going to be a giant pain in the butt. Like, Italy's not going to be a super easy to take out. But we can take out these guys first. And that's what matters. There you go. There you go. And. Oh, it's kind of okay for now ish. Oh god, we definitely need some of this here. Uh, don't do that one there. Um, do that. There, too. Build. Build your big fat buttholes off. You know what? Screw it. It's only eight days. We're going We're going straight through Russia. Um, finish them off. Go cool. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. And then we're going to do... Drive them to the sea now. We're okay. Uh, I, we got to do that one. But the Conquered. Well, if we can. After such a long and complicated campaign, the Battle of Iberia finally ended with another total victory to the Reich. Spain, Catalonia, Basque, Portugal, Galicia. There is one. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I want to do this again, please go ahead. My apologies. Just. This campaign, at the time I'm recording this, I'm just exhausted. But that's okay. Because this is still a lot of fun. Like, a lot of you guys lo really like this campaign, and I really like it too. It's, it's so much. It's a lot of fun. It's getting more challenging and more difficult, but I think overall, it's really not that bad, so. Um, I want you to force it. No, I can't force a goddamn attack. Come on, guys. Come on. How many have we lost? Two, someone just, just, uh, they have 20. Yeah, they're going to die. <laughs> they're, they're just going to die. You know, they're just going to die. Cool. I think we can do this one. Operation Geiserich. The time has finally come to shift our gaze southward. Our former allies, the Italians, have abandoned us long ago and ran away like cowards and traitors. We'll show them what happens to traitors to the Reich. They will be our next target. Just like Geiserich was once to bring your fear and terror to the Romans, we shall bring fear and terror to the Italians. We're out of fuel. God dang it. The hub of Iberia. Wait, every own state. Yeah, I'll give that one. In history, Spain was always the hub of Iberia, both geographically and politically. As a result, these, those who control the Madrid control the whole peninsula. And if we wish to secure dominance of Iberia, Spain must become the heart of our governance. However, since the decline of Spain is a world power, its industries have been known for being backwards, and its infrastructure are even worse. To ensure rule over Spain, a huge construction program must be made to improve the infrastructure levels. To a standard that can be at least be tolerated in our eyes. We acknowledge it won't be easy to finish such a grand work in a short time, but the Reich is always capable of making miracles, right? Always making capable of making them happen. Like right now, we need some goddamn fuel. Oh boy. Nope. And what about over here? Oh yeah. Oh, yes. There you go. Nice. Let's go to war. Oh, please tell me we can go to war, though. That's li literally bugged. That's stupid, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're taking too long. Move your fat butts. You literally don't have time to wait. To wait or waste. The hub of Iberia is nice, but... Like, seriously, this is stupid. Why do we have to wait so long to go to war with these guys? Why? Securing loyalty? Eh, so be it. Oh, we can do that one, but I'll do it later. Uh, form in the ASB. Iberia's been conquered, the civil war is ended, but the peninsula is far from pacification. Nationalist, monarchists, liberalists, socialists, anarchists, and even communists must be plotting against a new master. And the terrorist organizations have founded long before a conquest still exist and will always threaten our regime like haunting ghosts if we don't deal with them. Action must be taken immediately if we wish to have a stable Iberia at our back. Add action, as trust, our trusted generals have seen, is not difficult to, or not difficult to find in the past. The Iberian Union had Accentia Antiseparatista to fight against the terrorists. And we will create a similar department called Agentur zur Separatisten Bekampfung, or ASB in short. Some may th say learning from the AAS will be a mistake before they had totally failed their duties in the past, but how the heck could German agents act as poorly as the Latin trash? A peaceful and stable Iberia will, created by the ASB will, will be created by the group swiftly and effectively. Well, we'll see about that. Guys, go. Just go. What are you doing around here? Wasting time? I'm gonna get it. That this uses up a lot of fuel. Actually, we don't need you guys here either right now. But still, I 
Okay, I'll keep you guys over there for now. Protect in the new order. Excuse me, game. Can I just do this thing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Now, that Iberia is fully under our control. We need to establish an agency tasked with upkeeping order and fighting terrorists and partisans from the shadows. Well, the garrison protects your assets and its administration from direct attacks. The agent tools of Separatisti and Bekämpfung, or ASB for short, will hinder terrorist recruitment and propaganda and try to look in severe and sever. Sever weapon funds and supplies. Since we don't have an abundance of resources to dedicate to the new agency, we have to choose a priority in order to try and save funds for other campaigns. We should employ collaborators, mostly the soldiers who deserve from the enemy. After recruitment efforts, they would be much cheaper to employ. That bill would be more efficient in infiltrating the partisan organizations, though their loyalty is uncertain. On the other hand, we could play safe and rely on our own operators around the agency. Their loyalty and professionality are unquestionable, but it would be much more expensive to pay their salaries, and they would meet obvious difficulties in trying to mingle in with the locals, which we do. Ah, we can't trust turncoats. Influence the Arabs. Um, the Arabs appear relatively content with their newfound autonomy, but their loyalty will always be in question. Is our shared history not one of endless conflict and bloodshed? Perhaps the time will come when we must bring them under direct rule of Germania, but for now they aren't enough of a threat to bring a full might to bear on them. Instead, they just need some prodding in the right direction. A few carrots dangle before them, with the stick leaking, leaping out of the, kept out of their sight. We'll buy their oil, sell them goods at reasonable prices, and continue supplying their fledgling armies with German equipment, if they should ever move in a direction disagreeable to us. Every child's play to bring them bring down the hammer to their ungrateful nation. Come on. You got to go. You've got to go faster than this. This is pathetically slow. Go. I should have just sent the infantry over there. What the hell is taking so much fuel? The army is. The air is Jesus Christ, sixteen thousand. Oh, seriously, we need more refiners. But we're trying to build up all this crap as well, because we need some air bases. We definitely need air bases and radar to take out the Italians. Okay, so we got that. Okay, that should be that. Honestly, should be enough. Seriously, why do we go all the way down to bad word Magadan? That's so stupid. Okay, we don't. Thank God, Jesus Christ. I, I would say a lot of bad words, maybe Fenost. Hey, it's the Edward 12. I thought you were, Aren't you leading the guy down here? Right, so we're almost done influencing the Arabs. We got four more days. That's fine. We can probably... Wait. Save four days, right? There we go. Operation Gazarek. And choosing a plan. We... I hope we can go fast. We gotta go fast. Sanic fast, man. Um... You guys, come on back here. We're gonna crush Croatia extremely quickly. God, I hope we can just, like, blitz through this. Actually, I really like this. Look at this. Doesn't it shine or something? I don't know, but it looks really cool. Choosing a plan. When dealing with Italy, the geography proves to be especially challenging. Covered by the Alps to the north, the deserts to the south, and the Mediterranean all around means that our approach to this invasion has to be well planned. As such, three battle plans have been brought forward by the General Stab. Plan 1 involves a multi layered plan to destroy Italy conventionally. Plan 2 contains various unconventional operations to attack Italy on multiple fronts. Plan 3 has been put forward by Shore himself. He's he declares that there is no time for fancy maneuvers and that our group and troops have to push through the Alps as fast as possible before the Italians can build up a nuclear arsenal. They already have a nuclear arsenal, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot about this set, too. Um, you guys over there, come back up. I hope there's no crap like we have to wait over Liberia. We just have to wait and invade other things and places. I'm like, that's so stupid. Uh, I hope not, I hope not, I hope not, I hope not. Get off your flipping boats. Go, go, go. Happy 72, though. Happy 72. Choosing a plan, my friends. Now, what are we gonna do? Do, do we not get a plan? Hello? What? What? Uh, what? Oh, is this bugged? No, choosing a plan. The time's come for Italy to bend the need of the fear. As such, once we begin preparations to invade the Italian peninsula, the three main options to invade Italy have presented themselves. We can rely heavily on our air force and navy in order to bombard Italian forces, leaving them crippled and weak towards any sort of opposition. Additionally, we can combine such naval and aerial maneuvers with simultaneous naval invasions, utilizing the soft underside of Italy in order to reduce German casualties. Alternatively, we can always go with the most traditional straightforward method involving sending our men straight to the Swiss Alps. Shona's personal favorite! Regardless, the choice must, of course, be made, and I'm going to save right in front of you because I've got to figure out if this is going to be okay or not. But, let's see what happens with... Loop off of Kriegs, Marine Shell Rain, help fire upon the Italians, a balanced approach using naval invasions, go... Uh, we're going straight through the Alps. I don't want Shorner to win, but... 
we, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Like we, the game has set us up for not doing great right now. But whatever. Um. Cool. We're gonna be out of fuel soon. Um. I want you guys to stop actually, because these guys are gonna suck up so much goddamn fuel. It's not even funny. That's all you should really need. Um. What do we have here? Because we need to go now, now, now. That's what offend. The militaries are relentless in their demands. Now they're getting agitated for an invasion of Italy. An immediate one is that. That is. We don't have much time to plan and resist their demands. If we do that, sure enough, clique will take power and do it themselves. So quickly now, even if losses are going to be higher for us. Increased influence, but more loyalty. That's fine with me. Oh, wait. We actually have to do it, so. Oh, you guys probably want to stop training. We're going to get... Um, oh, they have a massacre. Good. That's a lot of divisions. Jesus Christ. That's with end. Wait, what? Why does it take... So I don't like this. I do not like this. It takes literally a month to plan for an invasion here. Are you kidding me? What? Why? Why? No room for cowardice. Apparently our decision to invade Italy and invade it fast has caused a certain sense of defeatism among our soldiers and citizens. This cowardice has, been, has to be crushed with the heaviest prejudice. Be it threats, demotions, or even execution here and there. We have no room for cowardice. After all, we have fought and won many wars and triumphed. Italy not be different. God, I hope so. No room for ca caution. Some among the ranks of the Wehrmacht, especially in the lower ranks, have begun to wonder if a slow methodical approach might reduce casualties. But we don't have time for a caution. Italy must fall in one fast, powerful charge. Sure, and demands that our timetables demand it. So no caution but bravery. Onwards, Lencia. Terrorist attack in Barcelona. Uh, terrible news today. This morning, a car bomb was detonated in front of an important barrack, formerly a police station near the Sagrada Familia. Familia. Used by the German garrison in the city, killing the sentinel stationed outside immediately after. More than two dozen terrorists stormed the building, slaughtering the entire detachment of 20 Seahaw soldiers before they could retreat to the fortified bunker. Not content with the wanton destruction they caused, the dudes stole all the equipment they could take and then disappeared in the sewers. Now the ASB faces harsh criticism from the high command in Germania for their inability to protect and thwart such a large uh, partisan organization. Or operation. Whether this failure is to be blamed on inefficiency, lack of funds, or other darker truths remains to be seen, but one thing is for certain. As Field Marshal Fenderden and Shorn have said right after announcing a thorough investigation of the matter, there will be consequences. Darn partisans. Ah, partisans. And he takes over the ASB. After a thorough investigation by the Alp and the Abwehr, German authorities have discovered why terrorists managed to launch such a large scale attack against their occupation garrison. When no traders were found in the Argentuals, uh, Separatasti and Bekampfung, the investigators unveiled several grave deficiencies in the organization, like a fund's nepotism, lack of spirit and general competence, ensured that the ASB utterly failed to curtail partisan and terrorist activities in Iberia. Slowly but steadily, the Iberian nationals grew bolder, launching daring operations until the last attack in Barcelona. This operation, however, backfired on the terrorists, as the scope of the raid prompted the swift reaction of the German military. After receiving the results, Ferdinand uh, Field Marshal Shona has acted swiftly and decisively, de facto disbanding the Argentual, with several commanding officers either discharged with dishonor from the army or outright in prison for the crimes against the Reich and replaced it with an entire hell division utterly loyal to him. The consequences promised by Ferdinand Schoen have materialized, materialized overnight. Now the troops are conducting anti-partisan operations in all the Reich's commissariat, showing a degree of brutality unheard of even during the war. Spanish and Portuguese citizens are being executed in hundreds, with even the slightest hint of having contacted a partisan, be it a family member, a former friend, or even the baker who sold them a loaf of bread. Also surely exacerbate tensions in Iberia, so won't stop Schoen. New room for hunger. Ensuring a steady supply through the Alps is a difficult task, one that could slow down our plan in advance in Italy greatly. Unless, unless we drastically reduce our supply footprint. Our troops might have to live with below substandard calories and nutrition for a few days or weeks, but victory over Italy is what really matters. After that's achieved, of course, our hungry troops can gorge in all the pasta and pizza they want. Nice. Very nice. Pasta, pizza, yes, yes, yes. We're about to hit a trillion dollars in deficit, so... And then over the Alps. The time's coming to show the challenge who the true masters of Europe are. Going through the Alps is going to be a costly endeavor, no doubt about it, but Shorn and his clique insist on it, and we can't challenge them just yet. Like Hannibal, we will ravage the peninsula, but unlike him, we will not lose. Planning has been brief, and so has the conscription effort, but no matter. Like Alaric before us, Rome shall fall once again, and fund us. We need the cash! Alright, everyone, so... Oh, I guess there's still, like, um... Oh, that's so much resistance. Why is there so much resistance down here? I mean, there's one common thing that we need to complete all of the British Isles to get less resistance, but still, like... I'm not sure if we, there's any place for us to do that, but anyways, let's go ahead and do 
the good old last one. Hopefully we can kill them off quickly. Seven day focus, not bad. We go to war straight with them. And then we're going to go ahead and do this one. Securing loyalty. The nations of Iberia have been wiped out. And now there exist six different Arcus Commissariats in the Iberian Peninsula in total. We know that the relationship between the central and local governments is always a serious problem for all regimes in Iberia. And the fall of the Iberian Union has shown us what could happen if we cannot find a proper solution about it. However, the Reich is different from all previous corrupt regimes. All those Arcus Commissariats will be observed closely by our agents. And even every move they take cannot avoid our attention. The failures of the Iberian Union can never be repeated, and every local Rex Commissar will keep it in his heart that Germani always has an eye watching at him. Or watching on him, really. 150 million US dollars every year? That is absolutely jack squat to what we have right now. God, I hope this does not go bad, because if it does go bad, I've got to rethink my strategy here. Um, this is okay. I mean, we can bust through here quickly. And start. Okay, Operation Geisrek. Cool, I can't hear any music, so. Europe's last damn. Europe should be dominated by Germany. The defeated states shall be nothing more than colonies, says Benito Mussolino. So, um, we can probably just try to go in. This is probably going to be really bad. So, yeah, we could try it. Call it in Croatia, that's fine. Spend oh, we didn't spend any more. There we go, spend. Oh, you guys are not winning down here, are you? Well, hold on. Do they have maxed out mountains? No, they, no, they don't, huh? Why are they winning down here, then? A lot of organization. I'm going straight to the Swiss Alps. It's actually not terrible right now, so. How are you losing here? I literally don't understand. It's a single god dang division. It's because they're 20 combo with, but still. Like, these guys are 40 combo with. Oh, look at this. We're fighting the Italian Navy, too. Look at that. They sink their Navy. Oh, or they sink us, I guess. You know, sink us. How are we losing with our, with our battleships? And we have carrier, a carrier here, too. This literally makes no sense. Well, the nukes are flying, of course. Actually, that's a good idea. Do we have cryptology for these guys? Oh, yeah, we do. I should have done that earlier. My bad. That's my fault. God, I do not like invading Italy. This is so bad. Oh, there you go, too. If we don't move them. They're going to keep going there, so... Oh god. Keep thinking the convoys, come on. The ultimate demand. Sudden and alarming news comes from the enemy force. Apparently in response to the course of the war, they've sent an ultimatum. Cease fighting immediately or be destroyed with nuclear weapons. However, we cannot be sure how serious they are in terms of the threat. We can either attempt to end this conflict and make peace with their foes or call up their bluff entirely. The choice is up to you. Well, that means we got like 15 days left, it seems like, so. I'll uh, see what happens. Oh, scary and loyalty. Well, let's continue with... Divert their attention. No better deal with partisans by herding them into the south like sheep and let short as men deal with them. To get some loyalties? All the setting up spies in various terrorist organizations won't have un unintended consequences. For instance, in the weirdest of places. In Iberia, there's been several different groups of terrorists who hate each other as much as the central government in Madrid. While many thought they were just enemies of the right that needed to be eliminated, some intelligent generals have persuaded the fear that the proper words and price of those terrorists will be willing to serve the right since we have the same targets with them. With those allies on our side, a lot of manpower and equipment will be saved on the villages and mountains of the Ibira, and the threats that our ex-commissariats face will be much easier to deal with. They may not be the best friends we can make, and it's understandable such may think that the places we can choose to make friends are too weird, but no one can deny that they'll be useful to our friends, useful friends to us. And if someone is foolish enough to convince or to question our decision, well, they'll be convinced after all. I apologize, my, I'm, my, my eyes literally are reading before I can actually read them, so. Oh, good, we got a month. That's not bad. That's not bad. And up here, really? Ooh... Yeah, that's not going to end very well for us, is it? Because I don't like this. I do not like this timer. This does not make any little sense at all. So I should I should have nailed it. This this make, literally doesn't make sense at all. Like, how the hell does this make sense? Seven bad word divisions versus level one forts and mountains. I mean, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on here? Terrain? Yeah, it's not night. Country minus fifty thousand. Well, no wonder the AI is just buffing the hell out of them. Look at that. Italy on its own. It's not bad. Any corruption sounds really good for them. American no fly zone. All right. Plus ten percent. I mean, it's ten percent. It's not that much. It's really not that much. Fire and fury ain't too bad either. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Uh, fire and fury. Increase resources. Oil crisis. Live by Laurel. Huh. I don't know anything about Laurel. Um. Light anti-warp things. No. 
plus 50,000 is extreme. That's got to be a bug in the game. Or a bug in the sub mod or something here, because that's ridiculous. Uh, they're buffing. I'm going to have to redo this. Because that's ridiculous. That's absolutely... I mean, 50 bad word thousand. That's that. That's definitely something either intentional or not. Like, obviously, but like... Seriously. That should not be in the game like that. That literally should not be. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Keep sinking the crappy little ships. I guess I, I should have just nearly invaded them too, but still. Attack warning. Launch everything we have to... Oh. Extremely alarming news. Radar and air defense systems reported nuclear missiles launching from the silos and also reported enemy bombers and forces from taking off. All trajectories predict they are heading for a nation and it is very clear that a similar response must be made in order to protect our nation. Well, it sucks. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. This is stupid. I do not like this. Why do we have so many days? Like, it's a bad word economy. You can wait a few days before things go poorly. That this this pisses me off. This is this pisses me off to no end. You are literally gimped by the developer or something like that. There's no way in hell we have fifty bad word thousand minus. I mean, who who does that? Seriously, who does that? I mean, you're just screwing us over for no reason. That's so dumb. But I've got it in here, guys. Um. The thermonuclear war, I'm going to have to redo this just because, I mean, that type of designing is not very good in any mod. Like, 50,000. What type of developer puts 50,000? That's got to be a bug. But, hey, this is, this is what happens if thermonuclear war happens. Obviously, I should probably maybe naval invade, but without those transport helicopters being gimped that hard, we could just blitz them super fast. But, hey, if you enjoyed this episode, we're going to reload the next episode by going in probably maybe a little bit delayed. I'll, well, I'll see what happens. But... We'll redo this. But, hey, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, where we're not going to get screwed over by whatever bug or intentions maybe. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.